<laughs> we'll take one more question, then you're out of here. What were the early cars you learned to race in? Like, how fast did they go? It's a great question. I mean, the kind of entry level of car racing is a series called Formula 1600, 1.6 liter engine, about 140 horsepower. They only probably did 130 miles an hour, nothing too crazy, but a really good learning tool. Uh, and you kind of build up from that. It's like anything. You start kind of slow when you sort of build your way up as you move up the ladder. All right. Well, look, great questions, guys. James has got to take off. He is getting called downstairs. Thank you so I much for coming up, brother. this dancing thing to do. You're going to kill it. Always a pleasure, man. Yeah, thank or you so much. Or woman or lady. Yeah, or, just I'm not sure. Me, um, man, boy. I like these. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. Thanks, James. And let me tell you, James's dance, uh, which of course came from Shana's Creative, is incredible, uh, and it's coming up. They are last to dance, so they put them there for a reason. It's going to be interesting to see, perhaps, could they get the top score. They're in that slot, which is the last of all Ooh, seven yeah, dancers, you know, and the producers, sometimes they get tricky like that. Like uh, tricky, like putting my head thing on just yeah, now. And I saw how long, you know, I'm trying to trap that hair is amazing. It took, it, took, it took a crew Your to put it together. It amazing. Look, I, mean, I, I gave you my stylist and it really paid off. Can you believe the same people that did this ew. together. Ew, ew, your me. hair is stuck in your little wound. It's ew. a wound. It's, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make it to the end of the show. Now, what we are seeing right now is a very emotional Val. Oh, wow, I didn't see uh, that. There are tears. He's emotional. I think there's a, there was a lot going on for Val this week. I was talking to one of our producers, and he said, look, Max left, went to New York. Uh, and, of course, he, he, he so that's going on. And also, I think that he, he said that he really wants... Laura to have this incredible experience uh, and he, she's got this sort of young optimism and her life is just starting and so you know he really wants to give her this incredible journey and I think that that is so true to all of the pros right you, yeah you, part of your wanting to do well by this level because you just want this to be this awesome experience Honestly, they look back on and be like I, whoa that I, was so fun I think when she joined the show when Laurie joined the show and she's paired with Val there's a lot of expectation like she's gonna win she's gonna win and a, everybody thought and even still you know she's gonna win but um, but lately they've not been getting the tens that uh, that Val has been striving for uh, it's been a little bit more they've been had a bumpy ride and it's not been kind of the plain sailing. Am I right in saying that? I think Absolutely. that's a little bit right. So, that, that's exactly what the package that we've just seen. That, his fear. That's, that's what it highlights is that they don't feel that they are getting that momentum that they need. So this yeah. is a very important dance. She cleared her whole schedule so she had no other commitments wow. but Dancing with the Stars this week because this dance meant that much to her. So let's just for a second segue into this dance and you tell us if you see a dramatic improvement or what you think? Well, I, I mean, I see a dramatic improvement, yes, and I saw this in the dress run. It's her arms. They're absolutely picture perfect, like so beautiful. And I agree, I've been waiting for this dance. I feel like they've been judged harshly. Um, so some of the weeks I feel like it was undeserved, the, the harsh judging, and some of the weeks I feel like, yeah, that was pretty fair. But I do feel his frustration. I, I, I mean, she's clearly, she clearly was the front runner. I think other people have, have, have come through and at least matched her. And I think that that fear from Val is very real. You know, like he, she could win, and if she doesn't, he feels that that's his fault. Um, so I understand. What I'm just liking is yeah. that he is a lot more fun and smiley beautiful. and happy, you know? Yeah. He, 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 he has always been somewhat of a serious, moody he's dancer. High, That's yeah, why he's so good. Yeah, but and now he's relaxed, oh. and I think it's a lot to do with his relationship dancing? with her. Oh, absolutely. Oh, he's and just off camera, you know, when, yeah, it, when he's up here, he just... Right. It's, he's a different he, Val we're getting to see this season, and we well, love I it. Well, I think that that's a bit... I think that that is him hiding uh, a lot of the time. That's what I feel, that's what Val does. Oh, that's wonderful. I think he's under a lot of pressure. So look at, he's getting so, he's getting emotional. Oh my God, that makes me get really emotional because I can see in his face, you know, at the end of that, like I feel like he wants to crack, but he's not going to because he's Val. But I feel like I could feel that just then. He wanted to crack at the end of I, that. I really feel that's that wonderful. if you are a fan of these guys, you're going to pick up the phone and you're going to vote for them because... That was wonderful. Yeah, it was a wonderful performance. You can see how hard they are working. And also, look, you, it's lovely to see the pro Val get so emotional. This yeah. means so much to him. Yeah. And he just wants, you know, Laurie to sort of be here at the end. I think that they certainly 
have a place in that final. It's just oh, can they course. win the mirror ball? Um, well, it's been more of a bumpy ride than I think that he thought. You know, it's not just how here's, here's Laurie, here's your ticket to the mirror ball. Like, it, it's, you have to model an entire season and get it right. And there's so much pressure because it, it could, it's it's pretty much expected of you. Do you see what I mean? Like, yeah. And I feel so sad. Like, I, I feel s uh, sad watching him being that, like, predicament. Um, but that was such a beautiful Venus waltz. Her hands were the best. So wonderful, so wonderful. Like she was effortless, and she—I can't believe she's 16. Look how big her eyes are. How? Who has? Who has eyes that big? They're like cartwheels. She just looked beautiful in that dance. Like it was a great big tick from me. Great big tick. All right, well I'm gonna let my fiance come in. Yes. Woohoo! He's Hang just Hang around waiting. though. We're gonna okay. be doing this throw to the main show. Hey, girl. So come on in. Look, we're all... Sash, how you doing, man? Right, brother. How's that shoulder? You all good? It's all good. Looking good. Everyone's looking good. Hey, guess what I've got here? This. Ooh. All right, oh, my gosh. This. That's so much heavier. So uh, this. Can you see that, guys? Did, Look at that. Did you show this? Head. Is that Emma's head? That's, that's my that's head. Emma's head. Yeah, I, this amazing. is one I compared earlier. Because it's, it's people's insane. heads... Pickled heads is a big delicacy in uh, Dancing with the Stars. So, do you like that, babe? Look at this. Here we go, guys. Guys, let's look at this main show here. They're about to do it. Hey! Unbelievable, guys. And then look, let's look over here. We can see that. Look at the team, man. Look at this fun, man. Look at the fun that we are having. Oh, my God. Um, so, zombie cheerleader, guys. Uh, and it's on. I um, look like a dead model. Oh, you, I love you it. You look amazing. <laughs> people, people have actually said, look at her facial expression. She looks pretty damn good. All right, Mike, um, how did you die? Um, well, first of all, these guys here, we got them to decide what I was going to wear this week, and this is what they came up with, Sasha. I mean, I know you're a huge fan. I love it. Um, yeah, a I saw Sasha before. zombie cheerleader? Zombie oh. cheerleader, yeah. Oh, nice. It looks like you got, like, yeah, I got your car. neck. I need my own cheer, U-G-L-Y. I don't need no alibi. I'm ugly. What do you think about that, Sasha? I think that's the prettiest you've ever looked. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's such, <laughs> such a compliment, isn't it? Okay, talk, talk about this week, guys. It's been an interesting week. You come out of the show, you've got to be up first. It was an incredible performance. Beetlejuice, great inspiration. I was saying to Sash earlier, I think this is you when you're at your best, like this and Bewitched. Mm -hmm. You can have fun, you can act it up. Totally. Uh, how did it feel? It felt great, honestly. I mean, I felt like I gave everything to Beetlejuice and it felt good. I felt like we were... We were a great team. In tune. Well, the, the judges I just feel said, like any time you go first, you never, they never give you the good scores. Yeah. You were saying that. We were talking yeah. about that. It is tough. And, yeah, it is. But I thought, we, we, we thought, obviously, Emma and I thought that it was the best performance of the night, knowing of what we've seen. It's the one that I think everyone's going to be talking about tomorrow. But you just don't know at this point. There's a lot of workload for you guys this week. So, so how, how did that factor into it? Do you kind of want to get your Beetlejuice dance just perfect, right, and then focus on anything else, or do you try and split the time? And Well, no, I think we really worked on the cha-cha, and, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted it to be real special. I wanted it to be one of those cha-chas that everyone always kind of looks back at and, and goes, oh, that's...